Hello, 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 hello. My name is Kate Bolt. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK, bringing you another Friday, Fun Friday Live. Let me bring my camera in a little bit more, get set up. Yeah, isn't it a scorcher of a day? It is um, 11 million degrees here in the United Kingdom today. Uh, we all knew this was coming. I think the high of today is going to be where I am in Buckinghamshire. It's getting about 32 degrees, which um, for where we are in, you know, in the UK, this is this is pretty rare. So um, making the most of it. Or uh, I must say, if you want to just keep out of the sun and out of the heat, just join me for a little bit of paper crafting. It's nice and cool in my craft room. But even so, saying that, the temperature, actually, I have a thermometer somewhere. It's probably really high. I've just, uh, I'm not outside, so therefore it's cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm quite excited. I have some fun things to show you today. I have a mini catalogue. This is the brand new July to December mini catalogue. So we're in June at the moment. So obviously this is not live, but I bring you some goodies to show you from it. This will be available to you from the 1st of July. So if you'd like a catalogue, just leave me a comment or contact me and I will pop one in the post to you. And also along with it, you will have celebration where you have all the free celebration items um, to earn during July and August. So there's the celebration brochure and I will post you one of those with it. We also have this most amazing joining offer. So if you fancy a brand new exclusive uh, Stampin' Up! branded planner, that's part of the joining offer in July. So anyway, I digress. It is time to do some crafting. So I'm very excited about these storybook gnomes. I'm going to try and bring this up on my laptop next to me so that I can see if there are any comments, etc. Because, um, yeah, it's just easier to see, to be fair. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So I have got gnome paper and I have got gnome dies and I have got gnome stamps that are hiding around here. Yes, I've got lots of gnomes. Gnomes, 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 gnomes. Yes. So if I mute myself, you should be able to see us. Yes, I can see us. Excellent. Right, here we go. So we have the new gnomes. They, it is called the Storybook Gnome Suite. It's absolutely gorgeous. That July to December catalogue, it has Christmas trees all over the front. And I'm sorry, but it's 30 degrees and it's June. So whilst I absolutely love everything Christmas, and I actually don't mind Christmas crafting in January, I'm telling you. Um, today, I'm not Christmas crafting. Okay, but I am going to show you this suite and play with it got lots of beautiful things in it let me show you so we have the stamp set it is called kindest gnomes as you can see you have a christmas sentiment but you also have you know me so well and warm wishes and your kindness does not go unnoticed and these gnomes are gnomey they are not christmasy i love them and they have their toadstool house as well we have got everything going on with the gnomes but what really made it for me were the gnome dies look at these look looky 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 so honestly i opened these and i thought yeah i made the right choice this is just up my street so let's have a look this one will cut out this stamped image i think or maybe not it cuts the this guy out of the papers so the papers cut out it cuts out one of them oh it cuts out this lady with her hair it cuts you out so it cuts out the stamped image and it cuts out the paper also and this little guy cuts this little guy out how cool with his lantern there are a lot of gnome dies and they all cut they cut out all of the uh all of the the gnomes this one cuts out this guy here so you can cut out all the gnomes on the paper you can cut out all the gnomes on this piece anyway, and all the gnomes on the stamps, and then you can cut out the toadstool, and you can cut out the toadstool in the designer series papers. And then you can make a gnome. So you have beard, you have feet, you have a hat, you have some grass, and you have toadstool, and you have a little tag top, a tag hole. I can see loads and loads of projects with this, really cool. So if you get it as a suite, 
Um, it has the beautiful balmy blue ribbon. Look at that. It's so lovely. That is called the, I think it's double stitch, double stitched ribbon. Um, three eighths of an inch. Some really strange thing going on outside the front of my house with a big transporter lorry in a car. So I can only apologise if there's sort of noise going on. And there's something else in this suite as well, apart from the papers. It is this fun Snowball Accents Puff Paint. How cool is that? I have not tried it. I know we have had it before. We tried to have it before one year and we couldn't get it shipped. I can't even remember. I think that was around Brexit time or something. But anyway, this puffs up this when it's dried with a heat tool. So you can make little snowballs and puffy white accents on your projects. I'm not going to play with it today. I've not played with it yet, but um, I shall do. Uh, it's not Christmas today. Today it's hot and summery. But that's part of the suite. And I'll quickly show you the papers. Um, and I'm not using these today either. We're just going to have a fun... It's a fun time. A fun time with a stamp set and the dice. But you can see them. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at these gnomes. So you could use this at any time of the year because there's nothing really Christmassy about this snow, these gnomes except there's snowflakes in the middle. So if you use it as a large sheet, you would. And then we have Christmas trees and hills. Hi, Karen. Lovely of you to join me. I love the gnomes too. These are adorable as well. They're great fun. And then you have, so these are really are quite Christmassy, these papers. So, which is fine. Um, look at this little snow scene. There's little foxes and moose and all sorts going on there. So it's a pack of 12 uh, papers, 12 by 12 inches. And then you've got the little animals that are in that scene as well. Got two of those. And this one with all these little toadstools and little gnomes in between. So sweet, two of those. And then all of these toadstools and mushrooms. Okay, and the back sides of them are snowy. So look at this gorgeous. I can put, I can put Christmas gnomes on this one. Oh, look at that. That's rather pretty. I love it. It's mint macaron. There's balmy blue. I will tell you all the colours in just a moment. Oh, look at those Christmas trees. That is nice paper. So pretty. I think there's all sorts of colours. Oh, there's the large toadstool so you can cut out with a die. Oh, Pacific Point, I think. Maybe Starry Sky. I'll have a look. That. Oh, look at that. That looks like someone's sweater. <sighs> love that. So that's the designer series papers that go in this suite. Absolutely love them. I'm going to be using those. I think there may be a glass with that one. Not using them today. Oh, I'm just going to tell you the colours because that would be useful. I need my piece of white. So the colours in the papers are balmy blue, basic black, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pale Papaya, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Soft Suede. There's a lot of colours in there, so you can uh, match it up with pretty much anything. My, uh, my laptop is, is buffering, so I hope you're getting a better picture than that. I have a little piece of white card here. I'm just going to move that out of the way, but I shall leave that. So I'm going to have a bit of fun with the dies, to be honest. And what I have done is I have cut out um, a, I don't think this would show up on top of something. I've cut out a beard. Let's just pop it there. You can see it better. A beard. I've cut out a hat. <laughs> I've cut out his feet. And I've cut his nose, and that's all the pieces I need for my gnome. And then I have got using the um, what are these called? These dies, tailored, tailor-made tag dies, and they're just stitch dies, lots of different sizes. They're really pretty. I've cut out a tag in basic white. I'm going to make a tag to start off with. Oh, so be so fun, right? So I think what I might do is just stamp on his hat. Ooh, sorry. There we go. I've got a little bit of scrappy paper here. 
So let me know if you're watching and where you're from. I'd love to know. So I've got a bit of scrap paper. Let's put that on there. I've got the tag. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I've got my blending brush. And I've got some balmy blue ink. And I'm going to make a background. Hi, Shaz. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're not too hot and you're keeping cool. It's nice just to sit if you possibly can. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the ink off. And then I'm just going to take some of that white away on my tag. Just to... Make it look like a bit of a blue sky day. <laughs> so we've got that going on there. And then this is mint, I want to say. This is mint macaron. And I managed to get the wrong ink pad out. That's weird. I pulled out pool party. That's mint. Is it rainy in Scotland? Oh, I missed what you said about your puppies. I'm sorry, Shaz. I have got a flower, a flower stamp. This is not part of this stamp set. This is part of another stamp set. It's part of the teacups, tea boutique stamp set. You can use anything you've got in your stash. And I'm just going to decorate his hat a little bit. I thought, why not? You could use stars, hearts, flowers. I'm just trying to kind of get away from the Christmas theme. And I thought it would be fun just to give him some tone on tone flowery hat <laughs> and we'll see how it works out you had the puppies yesterday so you're satisfied in the call oh you had new puppies yesterday have i got that right okay when you cut the beard out oh, i didn't show you these dyes very well so i have used this beardy dye which embosses the features on there you can see his cheeks, his nose and his beard. I've used the hat, which has a hole in it. And it kind of denotes where, if you want to make this into a tag, put this little one in and then you can thread your th thread through it and you can make a tag. And I used the feet for his feet. And then there's two here and I use one for a nose. That's what I've done. So where this shows his cheeks, that's where I'm going to sit his hat. Just on there. And I'm going to put that bit on first, I think. I'm going to build a gnome. So I'm a bit of a Disney addict. I don't know if any of you know this. I'm obsessed with Disney. A bit of a Disney family. We're very lucky to have a family member who's got a place out in Florida. And we've been a lot of times. I think the next time we go, it'll be my 11th trip. <laughs> we are definitely a Disney family. So I'm slightly obsessed. And we obviously haven't been able to go for ages and we have a trip booked for later in the year. So we were doing all the plans for it recently. And my husband said, I had said to him, I would really like to try. There's a character meal, a Disney character meal that you can do where you can meet the seven dwarfs. Now, meeting the seven dwarfs in Disney World isn't like meeting Mickey Mouse. They're not everywhere. I think there's a couple of events that they turn up at. But other than that, they're really difficult to meet. But there is a character meal where you can meet the seven dwarves. And I said to him, that would be amazing to try. Can we see if we can meet the seven dwarves? So this was a while ago. So the other day he was online trying to book things. And he said to me, where was that meal that you wanted to go to to meet the gnomes? The gnomes, honestly. He's more Disney obsessed than I am, or he professes to be, and he calls them gnomes. <laughs> we laughed a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. So, yeah, it's funny. Yep. Right, so I'm going to put the nose on, the gnome nose, and it kind of, so if you can see, it sits kind of over his nose, and then I'm going to cover it up with the die cut nose, and I've put a tiny mini dimensional on the back. How cute is that? And then we're going to put his feet underneath, do you see? So he doesn't actually have a body die cut, just, just a, a beard and some feet. I'm loving it. It doesn't take much to amuse me, I have to say. <laughs> little things, please, little minds. <laughs> oh, the white glue got blocked up in two seconds flat there. Did you see that? That's because of the heat. Oh, dear. Oh. Disaster. We have gluey trousers for the gnome. 
Let's take some of that off with a bit of scrap card. There we go. Take that globby bit off as well. Okay. And then put his feet behind the beard. Glue his feet on so they're just popping at the bottom there. <laughs> oh, so cute. So fun. So fun. I love that. So I'm going to put it on here him on here and I'm going to pop him up I think oh my goodness he's exactly the right size for this tag ha, ha. <laughs> so much fun I think I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back and and just overlap it where the joins of the parts of the the gnome are which will help him stay where he's meant to be and yeah okay I put more on than I need but just humour me. I'm a dimensional addict as well. <laughs> oh, so tell me how you're, what you're doing today. Is it raining in Scotland? Well, to be fair, Karen, honestly, it's too hot to go out here. It re it's not that nice, pleasant sort of warmth. It's got too hot, so you're not missing anything. I promise. I promise. Okay. So I am going to use some of that nice ribbon, a tiny weeny bit of it. Right. Where are my scissors? Ribbon scissors, here they are. And I'm just going to put a bit through there. Like so. Oh, you had a litter of puppies yesterday. It sounds like you, you have a lot of puppies, a lot of dogs, don't you, Shaz? How are they getting on? New ones in this heat, goodness. Poor mum. That's a lot, isn't it? Bless her. So we've got a little tiny bit of ribbon. And I'm going for some of our linen thread. Okay. And I'm going to tie a little bow on the top. Oh, it's built into a hill. That makes it sound like a hobbit house, Chaz. <laughs> you know how the Yeah, no. I know, I, I know obviously it's not like that. Don't worry. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I bet it's lovely and cool for them. Oh. Oh, there we go. No, you make it sound so idyllic. Right. Okay, so we've got some linen thread. Uh, we've got a bit a bow that's a bit large and a bit long on the bow. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Make sure it's even. Get a little chip job. Oops. So looking from the other side, it looks the bone got uh, is, is three levels. Oh, that sounds amazing. Wow, that's nice. Very interesting. Right, so we've got our tag. How cool is he? I'm going to put a little sentiment on there. Oh. Yes, let's find a bit of white. Now, I brought in the balmy blue here that matches the ribbon. Um, I'm going to go completely off piece with my colours and nothing that matches the rest of it. We're going to go with Starry Sky. And I'm going to put warm witches on my scrap here which isn't straight no matter which way around I put it let's grab my trimmer right let's have a straight line 
to edge my sentiment up against my eye. Pop it on my grid. Let's see how this stamps. Oh, very good. I love it when it stamps all right. <laughs> Warm wishes. Okay, good. And I'm going to cut that out now on my trimmer. Um, you can get your scissors on it and just cut down. I sometimes do if I'm feeling super confident. Sometimes I make a good job of it and sometimes I don't. <laughs> so today I think we will err on the side of caution. And there's no measuring. It's literally cutting around the sentiment so you don't cut any of it off. <laughs> There we are, warm witches. Gotta go on there. It's actually a little bit long on one end. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. There. Funny how a tiny few millimetres can make a difference to the way that something looks. Warm wishes. It's going to go on here. I'm going to pop it probably halfway up and to the side. And I'm going to use some glue. I've already popped him up on foam pads, so I don't think I need any more. So, yeah. There we go. Warm wishes because it's warm today. <laughs> got my drink in my lovely Stampin' Up. Look, if you've got one of these, it's a Stampin' Up um, mug. One of those like insulated, I think it's insulated, I don't know. Um, they're brand new and they've come in the new in colours. Mine's Tahitian Tide. Um, yeah. And you can get them in my online shop. But they're in all the new in colours. They're fabulous. Right. Okay, so we got our warm wishes tag. I love that. That's so pretty. And then I thought, well, I can't just make that for my fun Friday live, even though making tags is super fun. I thought we'll make a fun little card. Now, I did. I'm not going to stamp and colour in um, the gnomes today, but I did have a go. Look how cute they are. Adorable. He's not the jolliest of gnomes, is he? He's, um, which one is he? He's this one. Kept your drink cool for hours. I think they will. I haven't had mine in there long. Um, yeah, I think they're really good. Thanks for letting me know, Shaz. I don't want to tell somebody the wrong thing, but I love that. And a friend of mine's ordered one through me in the um, sweet sorbet colour. And they're gorgeous. And if you're a demonstrator, they're commissionable and you'll know what that means. Um, it just makes it much better for us. Um, for us to order for ourselves, if that makes any sense to you. So, yeah, that's him. How cool is he? But he looks a bit more cheerful and she definitely looks cheerful. He is, he's cute. So, but I'm not going to um, do any more. I am going to do another one of what I've already made. Um, let me grab it out. I have got another hat, I've got another beard, and I've got another pair of feet, and somewhere in my bowl of bits of known body parts. <laughs> I've got known body parts. <laughs> I've got a known nose. Who knows, you know? Who knows? So I'm going to do the same again with my blending brush. And my balmy bloom. And give it a little bit of a blueness. I haven't made the card yet, so this is uh this is coming out of my head, but it's gonna match the tag. So if you want to send a fun gnomey gift to someone, you can make a card and a tag to match.
So a bit of blue. And then we'll put our, our gnome together. Oh, I haven't stamped this one. Let's stamp his um, his hat as well so that it does match the um, tag. So. Very fashionable, this gnome is. He likes his flowery hat. Mm. Okay, so let's glue it together. So I put a little bit on the back here. It's going to go over the top, so it does cover up some of his nose. So you can see, but that's absolutely fine. And you can move it around a bit with the Tombow, but that's absolutely fine because we're going to put his nose on. Mm. Hot pad on me. Oh, here we are. Mini dimensional foam pads. Mini ones fit on the back of his nose. This is so fun having a little fun gnome. Got his feet. So, of course, you can make your gnomes any colour you like, clearly. I just went for the mint. And so I think this is a perfect stamp set and sweet because you can go all out Christmas in it and then you can keep it for the whole of the rest of the year and you don't have to do anything Christmassy for it. Yeah. So I found these squares of cardstock in my card stash. I have something on there. It looks like blue. Um, I have um, a whole batch of pre-cut cards and layers. So we have a square lot here. Let me just see if that is glue. Yes. No more. Go away, glue. Okay. So if I get my ruler... You can see, is it four inches? Yes, yeah, so this is a four inch square piece of mint macaron cardstock. It's not mint macaron, this is pool party. That's definitely pool party, and that's absolutely fine. I should have gone for balmy blue, but that's it's all good, they all kind of go together, don't they? Yeah, let's go for that. I think it's pretty, right? So that's that. So, what I need if that is four. I need my, actually, you can get a four inch envelope, can't you? So what might be useful is we make it slightly smaller. And we make it three and three quarters. So let's make it three and three quarter inches. Just take a bit off one side and a bit off the other. Okay, and then that means that this one is the same. Yeah, so this one will now need to be three and a half. It should still fit our gnome, I'm hoping. Let's have a look. Because now, when I make the card base in the four inches, it will fit a four inch envelope. So we have a nice layer of quarter of an inch. We have our gnome who sits in there very nicely. And then I just need to make a card base. So I'm gonna make my card base at four inches. So I can take a piece, cut it to eight. This is wisp, uh, sorry, basic white card stuff. And then cut it at four. And then score it at four. If you have the sheets of um, basic white cardstock in 12 by 12, it's very economical to make cards of this size. So you can make about four from a sheet. So you can pop this on here. 
This one on here. Hello, little Nomi on there. How adorable is he? Um, let's see what that... I'm not sure about the ribbon because I've done a different colour base layer. What have I done with the ribbon? There it is. It was quite cute. I'm not sure if I want it to go in there anyway, though. All right, so let's um, glue our layers. Do you ever make square cards? And do you ever make small cards? I love a little card. It's kind of nice. You can um, give it with a birthday gift or something. They are cute, aren't they? Thanks, Shaz. But also, um, not necessarily a note card, but if you're making any kind of little hello or just a note card and they're in this size, it's so handy and you pop them through your neighbour's door or just give when you, when you go and visit someone and you take the flowers or whatever it is, your bottle of wine or whatever, you can just give them a little card. So nice. Okay, so we've got our layer. We're going to put our gnome right on the middle, on the front. We're going to pop him up. So if I find my large dimensionals, what have I done with those? Do you know, I think it's windy. I'm getting some very windy sounds through my front door. Not my front door, my window. There they are. In which case, when I finish my live, I'm going to go and sit in my garden and cool down. So lots of sticky foam pads there, which will help him stick together and, and pop up. You don't have to, you can just stick him flat if you like. I think the possibilities with this gnome set are going to be huge. And I think once people start using it, you're going to find so much inspiration all over the internet um, for it. Tags, boxes, you know, fun shaker cards, little gnome scenes with gnomes in their toadstool houses and all sorts. I think I'm going to put him a little bit over there. Like that. I'm not going to press it down in case I change my mind. And then we are going to have a look at the stamp set again. We have got your kindness does not go unnoticed, but I'm not sure how long that is. You can see it's brand new. I haven't even mounted them yet. Yeah, that would be nice. Or you know me so well. Yeah, that would be nice as well. Um, you know me so well. Which one to you? Sorry, I was lost in thought. What was the other one? Christmas. Warm wishes. I think I'm going to use warm wishes because I've got that one out already. Let's just go for it. And you can tell my brain's not functioning very well in this heat. <laughs> it really isn't. So, stuck to it. Warm wishes. Um, I think I'll use the starry sky again. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be cute on there. Just let it dry a second. I've got a juicy ink pad. Ooh, something fell off my table. I don't know what it was. Um, I'm going to leave the inside blank um, because I'm not sure. My reason for sending this card, I sometimes like to do that and then I can just pop it in an envelope, I can put a little sentiment in it before I take it wherever I'm going. It might be, you know, just a note, or it might be quite like that one. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. That's quite nice. Okay. Or I might even stamp the gnome inside. Colour him in. Mm -mm. 
So warm wish is here, so I'm going to put one side up on the sticky foam pads, which I keep putting somewhere. <laughs> Ridiculous, it's the little ones. It's definitely the heat. Well, we had them a second ago. Can you see my sticky foam pads, ladies and gents? Oh, maybe that's what fell off the table. Oh, sit in the garden with a lovely glass of Pims. Oh my God, wouldn't that be something? I've got to go on the school run, so I don't think I better hide. <laughs> but yeah, maybe later. Oh, now you're talking. Maybe when the sun's going down, maybe you're like um, <gasps> gin and tonic. Oh, yes. You've inspired me now, Shaz. I might be after a gin and tonic a bit later. So I think I'll put one of these, a half of one of those, which is just as good as a mini one, on one end, and a little bit of Tombow on this end. So I hope your pup dog's puppies do well. It must be very exciting. Oh, took it off. Right, warm wishes. And they're like that. I feel like I need something in the background. I was looking this morning to see if I had a little star background stamp. But interestingly, I don't have one. Um, I might have to have another look. I feel like I should add something in. Um, I do have some stars. I have some star dies. Oh, I know where I've got a star die. This will be good. Let's do this very quickly. Um, here we are. So the we have a sentiment die set in the new annual catalogue, which I'm constantly using because it has these dies that go around the sentiments, these ones, and they cut them all out for you, which is fantastic. It's also got these little stars, it's got hearts, it's got birthday candles, and it's got a flower, it's got like a notebook edge, all sorts of really handy things that I wasn't expecting in there. So I'm going to use this little star. I am going to grab a scrap of Starry Sky card. That is the plan. I have lots. Ooh. This piece will be perfect. You know, when your craft room really needs a tidy up, but it's far too hot. I think I'm at that point. Oh, it only just fits on there. Actually, I could do with a bigger piece, couldn't I? Because well, it might just fit or it might it might just move. Let's have a look. If not, I've got so much of it. <laughs> right, mini big shot. The mini boss. It's not a big shot. It's the Stampin' Up! Cutting Emboss Machine and it's the mini one. The, the mini boss. Right, now if this chomps the edge off my star because I'm being stupid and trying the smallest piece of card you've ever seen. We'll use another one. So, oh, <laughs> it worked. So I've got one, two. I'm going to do that a couple of times and have some stars to put in the background of my card. I think if I'd used the designer series papers that are in this suite, I wouldn't need anything. But I'm not crafting Christmas today. It's so, so hot. <laughs> but I am quite excited to use them. I think I'm going to design a class on it. I think it'll be a Christmas in July online uh, gnome class. I think it'll be great fun. Why not? Okay, that's enough, I think. What do you reckon, guys? Do you think Christmas in July is a good thing? You know, just fun paper crafting? I do. I like it. <laughs> but, you know, each to their own. So, I've got a few stars. Now, do I put these stars in? That way, up. Yeah, I think it's these ones. I think that's what we'll do. So I'm going to grab my glue and make a big old mess. Oh, I should have used the die cutting sheets every time, you know. I say, oh, I should have used the die cutting sheets. 
the sticky self-adhesive ones. Right, I'm going to pop it on. It's nearly two o'clock. We've been going a lot longer than I thought I would today. <laughs> I was going to do really fast, but never mind. It's all good fun with these gnomes. My Fitbit is telling me to move. You haven't moved this hour enough. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's nice. So what I'm going to do with this matching tag is... Use the innards of these stars so that it kind of coordinates a little bit. Such a handy die set, that's that sentiment silhouette. So these gnomes will be available in my online shop uh, from July the 1st. <laughs> cute they are and that's soon isn't it i mean i don't even know what date are we on today does anybody know today's date i've lost track of time i'm gonna put that star die back in that set so i don't lose it oh there's my dimensionals no that's my large ones okay we are good we are good there is just one thing left to do just one thing i have got oh i've got a new wink of stella and i'm gonna Colour in his nose. If you don't know what Wink of Stella is, this is clear Wink of Stella. Um, and it is kind of just like a little kind of liquid in a in a little paintbrush. I'll show you. Um, like this. And in the chamber, you have like a glittery substance, liquid. And it's not glitter. It's more of a shimmer. And it gives this beautiful shimmery effect to things. And um, so it's not kind of too much. It's really subtle. It's really nice. Um, when you first get your clear wink of Stella, you need to prime it. So you need to get the fluid to come down into the paintbrush. So you have to take this um, ring off only the very first time. Otherwise, you can't pump it through. It screws on. You watch, I'm going to get a great load of it come out. That's the lid. Haven't bought a new one in forever. They do last a long time. And then you're going to wait until it starts to come through. I'm going to give it a bit of a squeeze. You can see it coming down the barrel oh yes I think I went a bit bonkers with it okay let's take that off of there put that in the bin wherever it is okay we are going to show you how it works so I'm going to do his nose the only thing is it's really really lovely and glittery but you can't see it very well on YouTube and camera photos. But maybe, can you see how he glistens? Maybe you can see it a little bit. When it dries, it'll be more, more glittery. And I've got rather a lot. I over primed it, but there you go, it'll dry. It's great for tiny little accents. It really is. You've got a glittery nose. A gnome. So there we go. That's dried already. Warm wishes. We've got a little matching card and gift tag. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Shaz. Very simple, very easily and quickly put together. Really just die cutting and building your gnome. And I'm glad you liked it. And thanks for joining me live. I really appreciate it. It really helps me a lot. Um, if you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the videos get suggested to people who might like to see it. That's how the YouTube algorithm works. Um, if you're watching me today, thank you for joining me live. And if you're watching me in the future and you're watching on replay, thank you from for Tomorrowland. And um, yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of the gnomes. I'd love to know. Thank you, Karen. So these are available at katebolt.stampinup.net in my online shop from July the 1st. Um, but if you visit my online shop, you can browse at any point in time what you like in there. And um, yeah, and I will see you soon. I will be on Facebook Live Coffee and Cards next Tuesday. Um, at 11 
no, 1 p.m. British summer time. And I'll be back here next Friday at one o'clock for, no, not one o'clock, <laughs> 11 a.m. for, no, it is one o'clock. I need to go to bed. It's too hot. So I'll be back here next Friday at one o'clock in the afternoon for Fun Friday Live. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. And I'll, I'll know when I'm meant to be here, I promise. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.